Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defences, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. See? 
anything to work at. Are you ready for Hestas? While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. What need it be on dot? Over there, on midway. What need it be on dot? Yarway chef and Yarway to don some work here. Fresher marker. Shoulder at crossbows. Ferret. What needeth be on dot? With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. That for thee. Farita, what need is worker? Charles Winker, if you'll brook it that. Yerwe for blood done by every chan. Yerwe has stepped to it, are we men? Had in the Hester's new. What need is beyond done? Now, Fende is men leaf. And grace it yourself. Swap ahead. Dresseth ya Hestes and on me can do. What needeth be on dot? Fresh air, see they to work. He could be on the day for day. Drop 
crossbows yet Aim so and close, close. Cross orders. Away we got the crossbows. Kiara has failed sleepily on the stairs. Ding dong. Ain't no get good. Yet they may a boy is the boon. What shall each do? No rest as anon till that will be a dawn. His spanner on the loaded. Crossbow on the way. Spare. Yes, they may have both. Something to shed then. Means better is yard. Spetterman, better. In Hesper, crossbowers, yard, fork, crossbows. Yard ready to done some work. Eh? Flock in they would, swat needeth be undone. See they to work. Eh? In Hester? Means better is a fresh marker. He come fair and a new. Shall each do. In Hester? What needeth be undone? What should we do? Some French reinforcements made it to their siege camp, adding more numbers to their next attack on the castle. Boa is the Yari to Japan. Far away he stopped. Yard way shed. Hestes cometh, our way men. Each way. Hestes and all. Bails leafily on the stairs. Rath they are, way men. Al Suiza, yes. <laughs> Foliende Hestas. <laughs> Dresseth yao, our way men. Sewers they had to. Each will. Yeah, for me, a boat. Here, Hestas.
Seizure in search engine for Rende. by the addition of their reinforcements, the French committed the full force of their army to a second assault on the castle. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcement. Let up, Oscar, horse. Springer moving the Serge engine. The yeah, RA to do done some work. Toon folk, are they ready? If you go on flock of wood. Spedeman Yard. For Hester, I hear it out. Outstand it. Let us be that you are on track, his men. Mikkel, 
Has this uncovered it? Yeah, they may, but it can do. Yahweh shed dress up men better, are we men? Her in the hest as new. Yeah, will. Hestes cometh, our way men. Steppeth to it, our way men. See they to work, eh? Off to the bayonet. Noah is a boon. Hestas are not fully end their Hestas. Al Suiza, yes. It's weird. It's weird. Al Suiza, yes. Step a two hit, our way, man. What need is beyond God? to dot some work. Hestus, up men better, our way men. Thine Hestus. Dute is none burden. Boa is a big ham for Ende Nu. Quar of serveth chat. Hestus cometh, our way men. Who's it to serve? Obeisance is Arne Athu. It's liver to hear him. Obeisance is Arne Athandente to serve him. Yeah. 
Yara on Tua Marka. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Yarwell Chef. Farita, what day this work? Reinforced by their new arrivals, the French army was at full strength. Dover braced for a full-scale attack. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Yet they may Ich be boon to hear. See they to work. Ekel and gain the ripple. See they to work. Yare to done some work. That building will be reparailed and on. What needeth be undone? What needeth be undone? Build it that for thee. Look at your beard, and mean a word of fair. He shall lay it now. Thee, Hester. He shall hell. Yet doth he ready to read new, Tolkis. Fourth war de Frankis, mid Baldenes. What wilt thou? Ich be boon to heal. Ferende, so ahead. What needeth beyond done? If he'll go and flock a wooder. Farita, what needeth worker? Wooder is not full much to see they to worker. Wooder is not full much to see they to worker. Nah, tell thing to do. Dresseth yow, asteriath, brave they are, my men. And are to decree the fourth. Then, Hester, virtue guides me way. Me way is clear. Reader as he slatter three and stacker and. Need you well. 
What wilt thou? Dress it, thou sleepily, on the stairs. Yeah. Boon to hear. Hellingham ac faith. What needeth be undone? Fresher air and harder swing. So Obeisance is Ane Athu. Redende Suahet. Surtis. Seizure in Duende Hit. Be ready for Hestes. Seizure engine, engine on the way. Hestes cometh, our way men. It on the sewer, they had. Alrita. What needeth be on the way, chef? Off to the Felders. We come to Delver. Choir of Serveth, Shetan. Yes, there's an odd bowman. Choir of Serveth, who stay Tulkas? Hestes, here of Hestes. Foliente Hestes. Men of Arme. Hestes, come on. Willikin spotted a group of English fighters engaged in battle with the enemy and rushed to their aid.
ugly than they ne hurt us, no, never doubt. Get it to Swinkin, tomb folk. Hestes cometh. Is a the combined grit of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. Tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands.